we are venturing into some of the most inhospitable places on Earth-abandoned nuclear sites. These are landscapes forever scarred by radiation, places where time seems to have stopped. We'll face the chilling remnants of nuclear accidents and tests, feeling the weight of the invisible threat that lingers in the air. These are not just ghost towns, they're stark reminders of the immense power of the atom and the importance of respecting that power. We're in Pripyat, Ukraine, a city frozen in time. The year was 1986, when the Chernobyl disaster struck, transforming this bustling city into a ghost town. The silence here is deafening, broken only by the wind whistling through the skeletal remains of apartment blocks. You can almost hear the echoes of laughter from children who once played in these now desolate playgrounds. The air is thick with tension, a constant reminder of the invisible danger lurking in every shadow. We're using a Geiger counter to navigate, its insistent clicks a stark reminder of the radiation that permeates this environment. Every surface tells a story, every abandoned possession a whisper from the past. This is a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of human error. Our journey takes us to Fukushima, Japan, where the power of nature collided with human technology in the most devastating way. In 2011, a massive tsunami crippled the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, triggering meltdowns and releasing radiation into the environment. We're walking through deserted streets, past abandoned homes and businesses, reclaimed by nature. The silence is broken only by the crunch of debris underfoot and the distant hum of machinery still working to contain the damage. The air is heavy with the weight of loss and the unseen threat of radiation. We see the twisted metal and concrete, stark reminders of the tsunami's destructive force. But even in the face of such devastation, we see signs of hope. Resilient plants pushing through the cracks, a testament to nature's enduring power. Deep in the deserts of Washington state lies Hanford, a site that played a crucial role in the development of America's nuclear arsenal. For decades, plutonium was produced here, fueling the Cold War arms race. But this legacy comes at a cost. Hanford is now one of the most contaminated sites in the world, a sprawling complex of decaying reactors and storage tanks holding millions of gallons of radioactive waste. The sheer scale of the place is daunting, a testament to the ambition and the recklessness of the nuclear age. We're wearing protective gear, but even that does little to ease the sense of unease that permeates this place. Our journey takes us deep into the heart of Russia, to a place shrouded in secrecy and fear, Mayak. This was once a cornerstone of the Soviet nuclear program, but it's now infamous as one of the most radioactive places on Earth. Accidents and deliberate dumping have left a toxic legacy that continues to haunt this region. We're navigating a landscape scarred by contamination, where radiation levels are still dangerously high. The air is thick with tension, the silence broken only by the clicking of our Geiger counters. We're constantly reminded of the invisible threat we face, a threat that has seeped into the very fabric of this place. Our final destination is Semipalatinsk, a vast and desolate expanse in Kazakhstan. For over 40 years, this was the Soviet Union's primary nuclear testing ground. The land here is scarred with craters, each one a silent testament to the destructive power unleashed upon it. We're walking through a nuclear graveyard, the air thick with a heavy silence that speaks volumes. The ground is littered with debris, twisted metal fragments and shattered concrete. Remnants of structures vaporized in an instant. We meet with locals whose lives have been forever altered by the legacy of nuclear testing. Their stories a stark reminder of the human cost of these weapons. These abandoned nuclear sites are more than just eerie ghost towns. They're stark reminders of the devastating power we hold in our hands. They highlight the importance of responsible stewardship of technology and the need to learn from past mistakes. As we've witnessed firsthand, the consequences of nuclear accidents and testing are far-reaching and long-lasting. It's a responsibility we all share to ensure a safer future, free from the threat of nuclear devastation.